Hello everyone, welcome to Cabin Fever Crochet with me, Helene. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to spend a little time with me while I give you my review and a mini demo on a new yarn from Hobby Lobby this fall season. They're wonderful, authentic, hand-dyed, 100% superwash merino yarn. Their Yarn B yarn is their in-house brand. Now this comes in two weights. The lighter, which is I think like a number one fine, you get 420 yards in that. All beautiful tones and colorways in both weights. I do have two that I've already pre-wound. They come in hanks. This is their chunky weight, the number five bulky. It's 3.5 ounces and you get 110 yards. The recommended needle size is a US 10 6 millimeter, and the hook size is a recommended K 10.5 6.5 millimeter. I've used a few different hook sizes, two in just one strand, and then the larger of the three, doubling them up for a trim I'm doing on a project with the link below if you'd like to see that. This yarn. They did such a great job on all the colorways in both the different weights, and I'm really hoping they will come out with a third, like a number four worsted, which would be great. They're really beautiful, so well done. This is the color called In Full Bloom, and then this color is called Prom Corsage. It's very soft. It's squishy. On the Info Bloom, I had one flaw where there was a blob of it where it was really fuzzed out in the center. So what I did rather than cut it is I twisted it and I tested it out as I worked and it just integrated right into the yarn and I could not tell. Now the hank they came with a very fine type thread that they were wound in in similar colors. They were easy to find, snip them off. I could hand untie the two ends which were very visible, came undone easily. When I opened up the hank, the outside was where it was supposed to be. When I put it on my yarn swift, I, I did not have to adjust it at all. It was very smooth in pulling out that uh, the first end and attaching it to my ball winder. And when I wound it, it just flowed and flowed and flowed equally on both cakes. And the second one, the Prom Corsage, did not have any flaws in it at all. So it's really nice. It looks beautifully worked up. Single strand, two together. They're both great, so I'm really, really pleased with this. I give two big thumbs up on this yarn. I don't know how it wears yet, so I can't, can't you know, attest to that. So I used a L, US L, 7 millimeter, M, 8 millimeter, and with the two strands together, I used the N, 9 millimeter. I did not go down as far as what they recommended for the K. Um, I tend to be a little middle of the road as far as my tension goes, but this is going to depend on the type of project you're using and, and what construction you want. If you want the stitches more snug and closer together or if you want them a little more open. so. You have a range of hook sizes or needle sizes I think would work quite well for this, which is always a bonus. So I'm going to start with the L, the 7 millimeter hook, and we'll just do a few chains here. Okay, so now that I've zoomed in and you can really see, I'm going to go up to the medium hook size, the M to start with and then go down to the L. Just work up a few chains. It's so smooth. Glides on the hook. 
I just want to show you how this works up in these absolutely gorgeous color changes. I just think that's so, so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a few double crochets. I'm not going to do anything like two in depth or fancy stitches here or anything. I just wanted to give you a quick idea. Make this relatively short and sweet as my videos go. <laughs> So you can see how it works up and these the colors play out. So pretty. So that's the M and you get a much more open, looser. I think that would be good going up a hook size if you're doing say um, clusters or puff stitches or um, cables maybe front post, back post, or something that where it tends to be more dense if you want your stitches to have more definition and to be more visible. But as you can see that it just has beautiful texture and stitch definition. Oh yeah, and I meant to tell you too, you have two strands of yarn that are wound together and to me it is just the perfect middle between not too loose and not too dense or tight. It's just enough to give density so you have warmth and substance to it, but it's not so so dense where it becomes stiff and you, you will get a certain amount of drape and pliability with this. It's not real heavy. So now I'm going to go down to the seven millimeters. So that first one was M, eight millimeters. So now let's go with the seven millimeter. And then that'll give you an idea if you go down one more to the recommended, which would be the K hook, the 6.5. So that's really just a half of a size down, which will make that even a little bit tighter. So pretty. So pretty. Wow. There we go. So you can see where they are here. Here's the, you can, I can see even in the camera like the light shining through where this is more open. Of course the larger stitch it would be. And then they're a little bit closer together, a little tighter. And I think that the K 6.5 millimeter would work just fine. You'll still have a little bit of breathability in between the two without having so many gap spaces. And that way with just a little, little bit of space between is all it needs to just get, get these stitches to loft up a little bit, which I think is good for wool. And helps it to retain some of that warmth without being too dense and heavy. Hope that makes sense. I thought that would just give you a little little idea, just enough. Okay, I don't want to overwork this yarn anyway. That's going to be for, oh, I don't know, something. <laughs> All right, so now I am going to double up two strands together and switch to the N. That's a big daddy. <laughs> Nine millimeter hook here. All right. Okay, so here we go on this collared or not neck warmer cowl. What's neat by having a cake, it makes it so easy. So I take one strand from the center pull and then the second strand from the outer portion. Besides wanting to add a little color, I decided after I put it together that I really would have liked the height a little bit more on my neck and again working with that nine millimeter hook. I just want to show you how nicely, easily working the two strands together. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. I think it turned out real nicely 
Anytime you're working with two together, I just go a little slower, make sure I catch all the loops, and it's just going to add just enough, but I, I really wanted to show that to you. I thought that came out neat because then you can still see the border of the alpaca, and it gives a nice contrast and piping along the edge, almost like a, um, a rope twisted type of look to it. This is smooth, it's easy, it frogs really nicely, it just comes right out. Any little knots I might have gotten were not difficult to take out. They came out relatively easy, easy enough. A couple I had to work, work at here and there, but not overly so. I am very pleased with this yarn. I would definitely buy this again. It's really nice, even for people who can't do woolly wool. This may work for you. Depends on your skin sensitivity. I think it is worth the money, and even much nicer when I have a coupon to use. This sells for $14.99, and it's the same price for both uh, gauges of yarn, the fine, and then this number five, bulky. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this little review and overview and demo here of the yarn. All right, that's it for this one. Take care. Take care, take care, take care, everyone. Please come back again next time, and I'll see you soon.